Hi, hello, good evening and welcome to my studio. Today I will keep the intro very short because I already talked a lot during the whole video. In this video, what I have done is to condense several days and several hours of work in just a few minutes, I think around 10 or 11 minutes. So you can see the whole process of me recording and arranging and producing uh, what's going to be the new intro for my channel. My name is Leonardo and in this channel we talk about music composition and production. And if you stay with me, I will show you how to record and produce an hybrid orchestral track. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get started. I have already set up my template in Logic with the instruments that I believe that I will be needing. And I would like to start with my seed idea or the idea that started everything. And that is a sound and a pattern, an arpeggiator actually uh, made with the DM6. So let's, let's record it straight away. Let's quantize this and fix it. All right, so now I got things where I wanted them. I have recorded and fixed the, the MIDI information that's going to be uh, sent through the DeepMind 6 and then recorded back into the computer. And what I will be doing then is uh, to do some changes in the filters and envelopes here so that it has some of more movement uh, in the arpeggiator. Let's do that. All right, so the next step is going to be to record some bass. For that, I have chosen a very fat uh, synth bass and the pattern is going to be very simple. So I will just be recording that and see how it blends with what we have already. All right, now we have the bass. Let's check how it sounds together with the arpeggiator. Okay then, let's move on. Let's uh, do just one last note. Uh, that's gonna be a long bass note. Uh, so we have a nice ending. Okay, so now that we have our foundation, let's start writing some strings. Let's quickly fix this track. There is one very simple trick that I like to use and that's to extend uh, the notes from the beginning and from the end so that the crossfades between them are not noticeable. Let's add another instrument to these strings because I actually need some sort of staccato. So let's see what we can get here. All right, now we have the violin, let's go for the violas. Same thing. And... Great, let's add our cello. And finally, let's also add our bases. All 
All right, let me quickly fix the ending of the string section before we move on. Quick message from the future. Thank you very much for having subscribed and for having liked this video. It really helped me a lot. So thank you very much for that. All right, so now it's the time for brass. I wanted to make my life easier by just dividing brass into low brass and high brass. Uh, in low brass, I have horns and trombones and in high brass I have only trumpets. So let's record it. Alright, so we have now our trumpets done and let me just quickly fix them so uh, that it sounds nicely with the rest of the brass section. Okay, so it's mostly there. Maybe I will adjust it later a little bit on, but it's, it's basically that. Let's move on now to our drum section. What I like to do for that is I write the drums separately in Sibelius and then I export the MIDI file because to me it's much more convenient and easy to do it this way and then to mix it from here. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, so the backbone of the track is basically done. The instruments that have to be there and that are saying the things that need to be said are already in place. So all I'm missing at the moment is just some extra pop, some extra secret sauce, which is not secret by the way. Add the sauce, the secret sauce. You ready? And I will be adding. And for that I need uh, something for an intro. I also want uh, to replicate the um, the type of music uh, and the type of intro that I was using in my videos previously. So I will use basically the same effects to replicate the same thing because, well, you will see why. Um, but yeah, I will record that now, uh, which is basically the final touches that this requires and then let you hear the, fi the final result. So let's do that first. Okay, two more tracks and we are done. So check it out because this is what this effect sounds like. I, I love it. All right, so I have just realized that my device has not been recording everything and I actually not sure of what has been recorded so far. So right now I am mixing everything so that you can have a final overview of how it sounds like. So just bear with me a little bit more of speed run and then I'll show you how it sounds like. All right, so uh, at this point, I think we are ready to listen to the final result. Um, I, no, I am not saying that I won't change this in the next hours because this has been just a half hour, yeah, half-ish hour uh, mixing this track. And I know that uh, <laughs> I know that in a couple of hours I may not like it anymore, 
but so far I am happy with the results, so here is how it sounds like. And that was basically it, two and a half hours of footage condensed in 10 minutes and over I don't know how many days of writing and composing and arranging so that you can see my process and probably and hopefully get inspired by it. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for having subscribed and see you next week.